I'm Jamie from JW Core NutriFit. In this video, I'll be describing and demonstrating how to do a jackknife on the stability ball. Before I start, please feel free to have a look at my other videos on YouTube. Also, you can leave comments, ask any questions, or have any suggestions on the end of this video. So, to get started, again, I always talk about the core, and the jackknife is predominantly a core exercise. So, the core being the band muscles which go all the way around your waist and your stomach. They basically link the upper and the lower body together, they're your centre of gravity, they control all movements or support all movements, but also they very much hold you upright. So they, the core will give you good posture, back support, two vital things, balance and coordination because they contract and they hold your body still while you move in different positions, and obviously strength. So with those five things, back support, posture, balance, coordination, strength, the core is engaging. So to engage the core, or to activate it, you need to squeeze down below, as if you're holding it away, you pull up to the belly button. Those muscles, if this is your spine, if my finger's your spine, the muscles will clench around your back, supporting you, giving you that strength, security, stability. When you do a core exercise, or any exercise, you need to maintain a good posture, and that's why activating is so important. This next exercise doesn't take too much balance and coordination. Well, a little bit of balance, but less on the coordination, but it will require back support, strength, and a good posture. So, here we go. I'll show you from the side. To start off, you want the feet on the ball. If this is very difficult, you can bring the leg up a bit, but if you, the ball up a bit, but if you can't do that, then if you need the ball closer in, you're probably not ready for the exercise. So I'm going to go back into the ideal position, just the tops of the feet on the ball. And from here, you're just going to pull the ball in, pulling the, pulling the knees into the chest. You notice there's not too much deviation through the lower back. Holding nice and still. Back's nice and straight. Abs are engaged. From the front, <coughs> okay, so you see the bum isn't raising. From the back, As you can quite, as you can quite obviously see, there's a lot of upper body strength that goes into that. Just like I said before, it connects you up in the lower body. And when you're on the ball, when you're fans, muscles in the body that you don't think are going to be working will be recruited. You will need to use them to stabilise the movement. So there we're working the shoulders, the back of the arms, across the chest. Lots of big muscle groups, lots of calories burned, lots of strength. You're making yourself a stronger unit. So hopefully you enjoyed that. There are progressions from that exercise. I'll put those in, in future videos. I would say if you can't do that exercise, I would start off maybe doing different exercises for the core, maybe some floor work. That is something that you need to build up to. <coughs> Excuse me. So otherwise, I would recommend 15 to 20 repetitions to begin with. Even build it up to 30 as you get stronger. If you can't do 15, just start from 10. It isn't a competition. Do what you can do. You probably will fall off to the side from time to time when you're beginning. Get somebody to hold the ball, help guide you through the movement if, if that makes it a lot easier. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.